Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Lab Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how you can really change the layout using a module called Delta with context and an Omega theme. So these are three separate things. Your theme has to be based off of Omega. Uh, you have to have the Delta module and you have to have context, um, but it's incredibly powerful and it's really great. So we're going to get into it here. So make sure you have Delta if you have an Omega theme. Um, you should be all ready to go. Enable your Delta modules. I just have Delta Blocks, Delta UI, and Delta API. I'm not using the color module, so I'm not going to worry about that. And to do this, we want to come to we want to come to Appearance and then Delta. From there, we can add a new Delta. So what is this doing? What do we want to do here? Well, let's say on our journal page, uh, here we have our block set up. We have this uh, content block and we have this sidebar. Uh, we want to change up some of the widths of these. We actually want the content in the sidebar to let's say maybe split this 50-50 like these two are. And this is really just an experiment. Uh, so it, it doesn't it's not super practical, but let's say we had you know equal sized width content that we wanted in this sidebar. And we only wanted that on the journal page, but no other pages. And typically using Omega, there's no real way you can do that. So by adding a new delta, we're just going to call this the journal, journals delta. And uh, by adding this, it's going to allow us to have a completely separate layout for this particular page. So the theme is going to be an ST theme, and uh, because that's my parent theme. And uh, we can have this be... Uh, a parent template. Portfolio is one I made earlier. Typically you'll probably just say none. Um, otherwise you can have Delta templates that have a parent and then you can override different values and stuff like that which is really great but it's a little bit out of the scope of this video. So the description will just be uh, changes sidebar and content on journals. And we're going to only override the different values. Um, the, if you have it override all values, then it's going to be completely overriding everything. I'm just going to have it override the different values. Uh, of course, you can make that determination by what you need to do exactly. So now we have this delta. What can we do with it? Well, now we need to click configure. And configure takes us to a screen like you've seen before. And in fact, it looks exactly the same as your appearance, uh, your, your main theme. And it looks you know so exactly similar that they have to tell you right up here, you're editing the Delta for journals, uh, just so you don't think that you are in your theme settings. So here on this page, you'll notice that your theme, everything here, your zones are all in the same spot they were in. Uh, if we click on this content zone, we can go to our regions and see our sidebar second and our content, which of course is set to nine and three columns. Now, since we have these at 12 columns, we can put this at six and six, and let's just save that. This is a real minor change. Notice how you can change anything that you can change with the theme, uh, just you know, based on however you have it. So we're on the journal page, let's refresh and you'll notice uh, no dice. We don't have anything yet. We have our same sidebar, uh, and even though we said this is journals, there's no way that we attach this particular page to that layout. So let's go to structure, and then context, and add, and let's say this will be journals. Uh, keep in mind you need a lowercase title for this, it's a huge pain, but uh, let's say journals, and the description changes, sidebar, and content on journals. And so for our condition, once more, we're going to use path. So I'm going to say this is going to be on the journal or journals page. I suppose the journal page, even though I've been calling it journals. Uh, on the journal page, we want our sidebar to use a delta. So let's go to add reactions and pick delta. Now you'll see the deltas that we've already created and we can have one, uh, one that we made was journals. So let's check that and click save. 
Now if we refresh our journals page, you're going to see our content has shifted over. If we look at our blocks, you can see the sidebar is the same width and this is now officially using this delta, which is awesome and it leaves total possibilities for all sorts of stuff. Um, you can completely transform your pages with these combinations of contexts. And so if you go to projects, you notice I've, I've done a delta on this page. Uh, I've removed the sidebar effectively. Now my, uh, let's see, my portfolio here takes up the entire page instead of just half, you know, I don't have a sidebar for the portfolio like I want on some other pages. So Delta is really powerful. Go check it out. Try to use it. Add different layouts and uh, you can totally change things up with the responsiveness and just your Omega theme in general. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We always love to hear from you. And as always, this is Scott Talinsky with the Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.